You guys know I'm not the traditional Bible journaler. I like to make my Bible journaling really functional, really centered around notes and adding information. And so today I'm gonna try a new Bible journaling DIY idea that I have because I see it as a way that can add functionality to my Bible journaling process and make the process simpler, easier, cuter, use a different medium than what I'm used to using, all of that fun stuff. Let's begin. So this week has been a crazy week in my life. It is VBS week. So y'all know my husband is a pastor. He's like the pastor over youth and children's and family ministries. So VBS week is like finals week for him. And of course, I'm helping along all the way. So I feel like I'm jet lagged. I feel exhausted today. And then on top of it, it is the week to send out my Bible journaling stickers. And we have changed the process. Up until this point, my Bible journaling stickers have been just like individual, like you see how this one's loose, but the process is easier, faster, all of that as my Patreon group grows um, to give y'all sheets. So my plan is I think three sheets and this is one of them. You can see you just peel up the sticker. It's super cute. They're just like the stickers I was sending out previously, but they're just all on one sheet organized and together. And so taking care of all those details, my life is just crazy wacko. And I was kind of rushing through my Bible journaling this morning. And y'all know I love drawing tape and note cards and all of that stuff. And I was like, you know what? There's gotta be an easier way to make this page cute but without drawing the same things that I draw over and over and over and over and over again. And that's when the idea hit me. You see, yesterday I was walking around Joann's and they have stamps, but man oh man, are those stamps expensive. Like even on sale, it was like four bucks. I almost got it, they almost got me. Then it hit me. What if I made my own stamps? I'm a Pinterester. I see on Pinterest all these different ideas on how to make stamps. Everything from like a potato to like from wood or cardboard. There's all these different crazy ideas. So your girl took herself to the tree and we got some different things. Everything from wood blocks, which I don't know if these will carve well, like foam balls that I can carve into. I'm gonna try and make myself some Bible journaling stamps to make the process just a little bit quicker a little bit more fun and to add another medium. Y'all know I love using crayons and pens. I use my stickers, scrapbook paper. I love adding 3D. I love using different mediums, but something that I've kind of stayed away from using recently has been stamps and paint. Well, the beauty with a stamp is you can use paint but it's a lot less messy. It's a lot less room for error. And it can be a lot of fun. Like it doesn't take super long. It's not super messy, all that kind of stuff. So hopefully today, by trying all of these like different ideas with you guys. One, you can laugh at me making mistakes and doing silly things. But two, if I come away with just one stamp today that I've made, that I've had fun making, and that is personalized, like for my Bible journaling process, then I've won the lottery. So my idea here is I would love to make some kind of like little frame that says notes or something, and then be able to stamp that into my page, write really quick notes and move on. And it looks cute, it's still mixing mediums, it's still artistic, but it doesn't take quite as long. I don't need quite as many supplies. And it's more functional than just like stamping pretty, you know, butterflies and hearts, like which are cute. But I would love some kind of functional stamp that says like Bible notes or sermon notes or the theme or, you know, there's so many different possibilities. So let's begin. I don't even know where to begin. I have, here, let me show you. This is my husband's carving supplies in here. I don't know if I'll need them, but pulled these out of the storage building. We got some carving supplies if we need them. At the Dollar Tree, I picked up some, some foam sheets, some wooden blocks. These dice look like they'll be super easy to carve into. I got some clay, like modeling clay. I don't know how long it would take to dry out, but this would be a really easy way to make stamps if you don't want to carve. They even had like a little knife set for carving for only a dollar. I got erasers. That's probably gonna be one of the easiest ways or one of the easiest things to carve into. And soap, because apparently you can carve into soap. Oh yeah, and I also got one of these foam boards. This is one of those thick poster boards that's like foam. So I was thinking I could maybe carve into this. I have no idea guys. I'm just gonna like start and we'll see what happens. All right, so first off I have the two erasers. So these were literally 50 cents each. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work from the back and just draw a simple design in a normal pen. And then I'm gonna try and carve it out with this utility knife. So we'll see how that goes. I'm kind of nervous. So here's my design. Let's see about carving it. I'm just gonna start out with a simple design because your girl's a little nervous. 
Okay, so automatically I realized the knife from the Dollar Tree would work, but wouldn't be very fast. And so I stole a wood carving utensil from my husband's carving set and that worked really quickly and really easy. I ended up carving notebook paper styled lines into the little design so that I can write notes on the design after I stamp it into my Bible. And it turned out so cute. I'm really pleased with it and it honestly took like no time at all. The only thing is if you're gonna try this, you have to promise me you're not gonna get an injury of any sort, okay? Don't come at me if you get an injury. Please be safe. And next up is the bar of soap. First, I had to carve out the dove. I guess that would be kind of a cute stamp, but I didn't want it in mine, so I had to clear that off. Okay, so honestly, I just gave up at this point. The soap stamp was not working out. It was way too like peely. I mean, if I was going for like a loose, not detailed design, maybe, but no, uh -uh. not worth my time. Next up, let's try the foam blocks. Foam blocks were like impossible to carve into, so don't risk your life and try that one. That was a fail. <laughs> The blocks from the Dollar Tree were not carvable, but my husband did have blocks in his carving set, which I worked with. I gotta be honest, this DIY on the wood block was a lot harder than I thought it would be. Ultimately though, I just gave up because it was really hard and my hands were already shaking. Let's try another random foam object and see how this works. I figured this would be easy to carve because every time I buy one of these things, my son ends up eating it. So I know they're easy to cut into. I don't know if you're supposed to breathe this stuff, but. Yeah, so the interior is way too like foamy and spongy. Not gonna work. Let's try the poster board. Yeah, at this point I realized, hey, this is an opportunity to do a detailed design. So I draw out a pretty cute little road sign detailed design. Um, and since it included words, you have to like mirror the words so that when it stamps, it's readable. So I drew it normal, then flipped the page over and drew the shadows and I had like reverse text. So you can just peel the paper off the edge to reach the interior foam. So I quickly realized that the foam of the poster board was way too like thick. Even the foam sheets didn't work. I guess I could have cut letters and shapes and layered them, but that was gonna be way too much work and your girl does not have that patience. Next up is clay. I was starting to get a little desperate for something to work. Now the clay was really easy to carve and mold. The downside is you have to wait for it to dry, but even still, the final stamp that came out was not anything I was hoping for. I mean, if I sat there and messed with it, I think I could make it work, but I'm not quite sure a detailed design would be the best thing. All right, friends, I'm definitely gonna be using this one. It turned out super cute, but that was literally the only one that turned out cute. So I was hopeful and I got one. So that's good, I guess. <laughs> I hope this was kind of inspiring or got you thinking about ways that you might wanna use stamps in your Bible journaling and possibly even make stamps, even though a lot of these ideas were total fails. I'd be interested to hear how you've made stamps in the past, if you've done it or if how you use your stamps. If you guys wanna see a 3D Bible journaling idea with like a little flippy card thing, check out this video or if you want to do a bible study and learn more about the richness in god's word check out this video and i will see you guys in these videos thanks for watching me make a total fool of myself bye y'all now i have to clean up this huge mess wish me luck